Hey guys and girls, how you doing? Listen, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to kind of tell you who I was. Who's this mad guy giving me all this information? Well, look, it's not going to be a 40 minute deep dive of what I've done. It's going to be a very short, sharp, sweet way of introducing me and telling you who I'm at. So today I'm celebrating 141 dog years in the industry. How cool is that? I started off my life back in 1991. Well, prior to that, I was doing work experience at 87 and 88 when I was still at high school uh, with a lovely guy called John Cawthorn, who uh, my best mate, Chris Cawthorn's dad, was a news cameraman at the place. So I finished high school at 1990. I worked in a push bike shop to make myself through film school. During that time, I was doing some work experience within Sunshine TV, which is in a place called Maruchador in Queensland. In 91, they gave me the opportunity to come on board and I loved it. I was a tape operator. I moved into promo producing on a 910 edit controller. I was doing on-air presentation, news editing. Now with any regional television station, you get to do everything. And that was a really, really good stable of where I was. I worked my butt off. I asked a thousand questions and it was fantastic. I then moved to Sydney to go to Foxtel. It was a great opportunity and I've never been to Sydney before, so it was brilliant. I went into a tape operation area, which was 24 seven, 23 digibeaters. Uh, I moved into program preparation and then moved into the library manager's position, which was looking after over a quarter of a million shows, 24-7, staff of 20. It was a really, really eye-opening experience. I loved it. Frame, set, and match. Oh, my God. Now, frame, set, and match isn't around anymore, which is a real shame. It was the most amazing boutique post-production company in Sydney. They were doing amazing TVCs. They were doing telecining, they had flame, edit box, Avids, they were the ducks nuts. These guys knew how to do it. Steve has now started up Vandal, which is in Sydney as of uh, 2019. Well, he's done it before, but I'm just saying this video is 2019. And it was the most amazing way to cut my teeth in the correct professional way. These guys showed you to stop doing it the wrong way and doing it the right way. I then moved over to the Lab Sydney. The Lab Sydney was a bigger, bigger beast. I thought it was the right move. Looking back now, it was a wrong move. I should have stuck with frame set match. But what the Lab showed me was all about DVDs, all about VCDs, all about this new media stuff that was coming through. Back in the day, DVDs was a big thing and a lot of people wanted these done. So I had the opportunity to moving over there. It was great. I got to build a team. I built some amazing people around me. And a lot of those people are now huge in the industry as well. So I'm really stoked about that. Advertising Advantage, my God, Wally and Luke, these guys put everything on the line. They went from agencies themselves and said, there's got to be a better way. And this is what I love about these two. They went in and said, for 15 grand, we can get mum and pop to advertise on TV, which back in the day was unheard of. So I had the unbelievable opportunity to go and film, edit, produce, literally everything, making coffees. It was the most amazing experience I've had in my life. They're still going strong today as they should be. Luke and Wally, absolute credit to these guys. So from the start, broadcast, broadcast, post-production, post-production, then even directing and editing. So at this stage, I'd kind of really humbled my approach on how the whole process worked. Then one day I got a phone call. Come to AdStream. Now AdStream's goal was to send commercials around the world. So at this process up to my point in my career, I'd actually known how they got played out. I knew how they were made. And now I was delivering them to the broadcasters. So I started off as ingest manager out in Sydney, Australia. Then um, I went to broadcast managers. Now I moved to England in about 2004. So I was only in Sydney for a very short period of time for AdStream. I think employee number seven or something. Then moved over to UK and I was employee, God knows, very, very early employee. It got to around about 500 people at some stage. Um, they had 40 offices. It was an amazing experience. While I was at AdStream, I actually started up DeliverCommercials.com as a kind of an open source thing to kind of allow people to get all the information out because every single day I'd be fielding questions. I thought it'd be a really cool way. I then started up a division within AdStream called AdPro. AdPro's goal was to help fix the commercials. We got to six edit suites. We had 12 Teranexes. We opened an office in Miami. It was a real lot of steam up, and um, I can't really tell to talk too much about it because of privacy issues, but it was a great situation. I went to the bosses of Ad AdStream and said, listen, we need this. They had the, uh, uh, the power and the, the kind of the confidence in me to do it, and it was brilliant. So I was at that company for a very long time, and it was good, but you know, after 10 years, as you've seen previously, I've been short, sharp, sweet, I kind of got a bit long in the tooth. 
Then we started my favorite company to date, Honeycomb. Now, Honeycomb was kind of similar to AdStream. It was delivering commercials, but our goal was to make the whole commercial delivery more addressable, more programmatic, more open. So we really wanted to kick the doors in and do it. And we did. We took a huge chunk of the UK market in a short period of time. We had the absolute opportunity of working with um, Sky and loads of others. So my goal there was to build the broadcast stack. And what's that mean? Well, that goal was to go and build the most robust, fastest, kick-ass um, ingest, QC, and delivery stack that I could possibly do. I had the pleasure of working with some amazing people, absolutely the most amazing people in the world, and we had the best time we could possibly do. We were doing that for five years, and then we merged with IMD, which is, was kind of, I guess, our competitor of the time. So we took all of our company, we merged, and we became a company called Peach. And that's where I'm at right now. So Peach is um, a kind of a mashy collaboration of what Honeycomb was trying to do and IMD. IMD has global reach. It has um, all the broadcasters connected. Um, Honeycomb had all the programmatic and digital ways of moving forward. So the two companies made sense. And what I'm doing now is called the Director of Advanced TV. So I get to do all the cool stuff of going to the broadcasters, finding out how we can make things better, and kind of really nutting it down for the future. And this is a really exciting time for me. So it allows me to now open more up to deliver commercials to help out more and more because over the span of this career, I kind of really wanted to give back to the community. And I thought this would be a really cool little snapshot to kind of show you who I was and where I was at. And uh, that's about it. So well done. Congratulations. You managed to pass it and get through the slides. Uh, just want to say a big hello and looking forward to really giving you a, a humble approach on what the post-production broadcast industry has. I've got around about 25 episodes in the shoot ready to come out and I'm really looking forward to this adventure. So, as always guys, have a great day.